Okay, guys, so today we're talking Zapier and Gravity Forms. So what we wanna do here, first of all, is go into the back end and click on add-ons under forms. And this is where we install the Zapier add-on. Uh, just check your licensing here to make sure you can access this. And you can see here, I've got the Zapier add-on. I just click install there, and that installs that add-on and makes it available for my Gravity Forms setup. Now, the other thing, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have is a Zapier account. I've got mine right here, and I'm gonna make a new Zapier in this area. Okay, so I've added in the Zapier area onto Gravity Forms. So I'm gonna go into my forms and I'll just take this um, website quote form that we've created earlier. You'll be able to get that uh, when it comes down to doing the multi-step uh, totals form uh, that we created earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna click settings here and you'll see that there's a Zapier item just there. So you click on that and it allows you to create a new feed. So I'll click create one right here. And it says you need to enter the zap name and the webhook URL um, right there. So what we do is we need to create a new zap to get that item. So I click new zap and then I'm gonna say it's gravity forms that I want. So I'll click on that. It's when a form submits is the trigger. So zap is triggered by that. So it gives me this URL and I copy that to the clipboard go back and that's my hook name right there my zap name here is going to be gravity form put like that okay just copy that out and we'll paste that up there it's active use admin labels not necessary and save zapier you'll notice there's conditional logic there this means that you might want to only use a particular hook if it satisfies a certain requirement you can do that right there we'll go into conditionals in a future video so I've got that zap, that's great. So what do I do now? Well, let's take a look at the form and you'll see that in this particular form, I've got all these items here. And if I go to entries, I actually don't have any entries yet. So what I'm gonna do is I click on preview and you can actually push stuff into the preview here. So I'm just gonna say Matt, Knighton, email, at one, two, three, four, dot com, phone. Like that. I'll have one of those, one of those. Next, uh, I'll take that and that. And we've got this running total as we had before. Next, I'll take WooCommerce, I'll have FAQ, submit. Now I've submitted the item and that's pushed through to the zap. So I've done that, okay, I've done this. And we're now testing. And what should have happened is because we've triggered that, we've got the item right here. And I can view the form submission. This is the data I just did. Email at 123.com, WooCommerce, all the different details, right? Right there, it's all in there. And continue. Now I have all this data available for me to use. I could use an email in Mailgun, send someone to MailChimp, push the data to Salesforce, push it into Zoho, create a project, send an SMS to say that a form's been done, put a lead score in, store it somewhere, filter it, whatever it is that I wanna do. There's all these different app integrations using Zapier. And once you know how, that power's there for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's simpler than what most people think. Go get some zaps built and enjoy your Gravity Form tutorials. That's over and out right now from Divi Framework. I'll see you in the next tutorial.